Hello and welcome to Nature Day's Outdoor Learning Resources. Now, how do you feel about moths? Now, most people think they're pretty boring and they're the boring relation to the butterfly. But in fact, I'm going to try and change your mind because last night I put up a moth trap and I've got some rather amazing moths in here. So come and have a look and see what I found. Now. Okay. So we're going to start with the most beautiful moth I think you've probably ever seen. Now, they may start flying away, but that doesn't matter because they will want to go look at him. This is an elephant hawk moth. And we put egg boxes in here because it gives them something to perch onto. But it also means there's a real surprise because every now and again you look in one of the little holes and you see another moth. But look at the colours on him. Nobody said he was going to be boring. So these beautiful pink. And if you look at the actual caterpillar for this moth, they're absolutely stunning as well. And these like to eat the, pot, the um, nectar from um, honeysuckle. So we've got honeysuckle in the garden, which is why we've got them here. Now if I take you around this way, we've got another one here. Got to be careful because you really don't want to touch their wings because they've got little scales on them which will just come off on your hands. Oh, we've got a butterfly joining us here. Let's see if he wants to come out. No, okay. Let's see if we've got any more. Oh, and this one here is a puss moth. Isn't that one stunning? And look, you can see it's a puss moth. Apart from the fact that it's fluffy, puss as in a, the pussy cat, it's also got these beautiful antennae which are feathered. And that's a really good distinguishing mark that tells us what kind of butter, uh, moth we've got here. We've got here, this is a shoulder stripe, I think. And, oh, there we go. There's another one there. Now, moths is, are just the most stunning, colourful camouflage you can see there. So they look pretty obvious on this cardboard background. But if this was next to the bark of a tree, some of them would be very difficult to distinguish between the bark. And look at just those details there. Right, I'm gonna try and get another one out. I'm just gonna put that one down there. If they fly off, that's fine. They can fly off. Let's have a look. We got an awful lot of our elephant hawk moths. So here's another one. Inside there. Another one hiding. And we've got a little micro moth there. Those are the ones you probably think of as moths. These are micro moths. Also really useful. They're all pollinators. They're all going to be eating a lot of the flowers that are around this time of year and also pollinating. They're also the food source for an awful lot of animals. Spiders for the caterpillars and for some of the moths. Lots of bats eat lots of these and also an awful lot of the birds that are nesting this time of year are relying on these for their food source. Let's get the big one out. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, no, turn the light. See, I told you they're all secret. Look at him go. Now, the way, way to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth is when they lie down, when they actually settle, moths will lie their wings flat against, the, against their back whereas a butterfly will hold them against each other up high, so they'll be sticking out of the ground. So if they're lying flat against the ground, it's going to be a moth. They don't all come out at night. You can get day flying moths, and there's some beautiful ones like the cinnabar moth that are brightly coloured, and you can find them in the daytime. Here we go. Look at all those elephant moths. These are, these are small elephant moths. You can get bigger ones that can be almost you know, a few inches long. And we've also got an awful lot of flies down the bottom of here. And I think that's a water carpet there. And there's another buff one there. And lots of these little flies here. Now some of these, that one down there, I don't know if you can see him, I know he's tiny, but that is probably the most horrible <laughs> he's a lovely animal but he does a horrible thing to caterpillars this is an ictimus uh, wasp and you might be able to see its bottom i know it's tiny i put another picture on so it's got a big ovipositor 
which is its egg tube, and it sticks it into caterpillars, lays its eggs inside the caterpillars, and then the caterpillar ba- then the babies of the ichthyomus fly will then eat the caterpillar. But they're very clever. They will only eat the bits that it can survive without. So it carries on feeding, and then it will start to feel a bit sick, and eventually it will actually be eaten alive. And it's a really nasty way to go. But that's the life cycle of the ichthyomus fly. Ooh, look. What else have we got in here? Hiding away. Maybe hiding under there. Oh, look. Oh, more beautiful. I haven't even counted how many I've got here. I'm going to have to do a count now and a, a sort. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to do some moth counting and surveying. You don't have to catch them in a trap like this. But if you look on the blog, the Nature Days blog, There's lots of ways of attracting moths so that you can do some identification. You don't have to have a moth trap. And when you finish with your moths, if you do catch them, just very carefully see if they will come off whatever you've got them on, onto your finger. Good way of attracting them is to either use sweat or a bit of a sugary solution you might have used to attract them and then carefully put them back into the, the food stuff that they like. So I'm going to take this one into a honeysuckle bush. Don't just let them fly off because then they'll turn into food for all the birds. And they, you know, they're very brightly colored. They're very obvious. But obviously this is going to come out at night to feed. So usually you don't see it. So this is not going to be a good place for it to be let go flying because it would just become food. So I'm going to let him go in the honeysuckle bush. Now, if you have a quick look inside my trap, there's still an awful lot of left. There's a triple, I know that one, there's a triple line one there. And we've got some carpet, water carpet. This one here with a wavy back there. And we've got an awful lot of those ones there, which I'm not quite sure. Oh, and we've got another puss moth down the bottom and another elephant moth there. So I'm going to... I'm going to make a table and I'm going to identify all my animals and I'm going to tick them off, make a little tally chart and then I can send it off to the Butterfly um, Conservation Fund Trust and they can have a record of what is living inside my garden. So my challenge for you is to use my blog and make some attractors, put them out before this evening or before a nice calm evening where it's not too windy, a bit overcast, no moons, even better for using light sources and then go out just after dark, put your torches up behind your white sheets or have a look at your sugar traps and your your, um, wine strings and go and see what moths you can identify. And good luck, and if you want some help identifying it, you can email me at Nature Days or you can have a look at the ID guide, which is on the blog, the Nature Days blog. Please tweet any photos because these, hopefully you'll agree, are absolutely stunning. And it'd be great to flood Twitter with some beautiful moth photos. Don't forget to hashtag in Nature Days and Dawn Nature Days and good moth hunting. I'll just leave you with a close up of all the species that we found in the moth trap. Enjoy. goes back to the honeysuckle. There we go. Have something. There we go. <laughs> he wants to stay on my hand. No, you're gonna go back. You're gonna go back to the wild. Look, there's some lovely food for you. Oh there. Better. There we go, back to your food plant. In you go. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) 
come on, this is... <laughs> I really don't want to go. Look. Food. Come on, mister. I know. Oh, he's done that as well, that fast wing boots. Oh, go. Do you want to go and get another one? Oh, come on. On to the food. Look. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Let's see if you want to. Oh, there he goes. Okay, we're going to let some of these go. Right, let's have a look. He's going to come out. Oh. Okay, let's rescue Mia. <laughs> She's got a moth <laughs> in her sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Moth, you don't want to live in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it really is going up your sleeve. <laughs> Beautiful. Put them in the bushes. <laughs>